2022, the year that changed my life completely. Looking back on where I was in January, it is so different than where I am right now. I went through so many ups and downs that I don't even know how I survived. I always had a dream to be a professional dancer in the country of entertainment, the United States. My dream started with High School Musical and So You Think You Can Dance. As I built my career as a dancer in Japan, I found this amazing professional entertainment team called Dallas Cowboys Rhythm and Blue. They are the first NFL co ed performance team, and I was amazed by how unique and talented they are. I researched about them and I tried out in 2020, but I wasn't financially stable enough to move to the States, and COVID made it really difficult for me to make decisions. So this year, I wanted to try it again. I saved my money and got trained by Sideline Pleb to follow my dream. It was a six month program, and I was able to get trained in dance, fitness, nutrition, mindset, speech, and interview. I learned so many differences compared to the Japanese dancing industry, and it was the best decisions that I've ever made. In January, I was so scared to start my visa process, but I told myself everything's gonna be okay. I collected all of the evidence and appearance records of my dance career to prove that I deserve O1 visa. In April, I get a chance to go to DC for work and attend to Cherry Blossom Festival. I choreographed a stage for Japanese and American kids. They taught me how special it is to be able to dance together even though we don't speak the same language. One day, I woke up with notification from Dallas Cowboys with Men Blue Instagram saying that they are going to have a prep class on Monday. My boss is a former NFL cheerleader. She knew how important it is to take a prep class, so she encouraged me and let me fly to Dallas to take a class. I can't thank her enough for that. When I walked into the class, I saw faces that I have seen on social media. I couldn't believe that I was in the same room with them. <laughs> They were extremely talented dancers and learned a lot from them. On the way home from the work trip, I was so ready to start practicing dance and English again. When I landed in Japan, one email from my lawyer took the excitement from my heart. She told me that my file for the visa was rejected by the USCIS. It cost a lot to resubmit the file, but I had no doubt that I would do it again. In June, the audition started, but I still had no visa at the time. Also, I was still looking for a place to live. A few days passed, and one day I was out for a week for my work in Tokyo. I got an email from my lawyer that I can move on to the interview. I was so happy, but I still had to prepare for the interview. When I went to the embassy, that was the most nerve wracking moment that I've ever experienced. My 500 pages documents were checked and got some questions and went back home. A few weeks later, my family got packaged from the embassy. And finally, I got my visa. I remember I felt so relieved and finally ready for the audition. Saying goodbyes to my family and friends was the most heartbreaking thing that I had to do. But I knew that if I wanted to make my dream come true, I had to go through that someday. The moment when I lost my family from my sight, that's when it hit me that I was ready for this journey. When I landed in Texas, I saw a beautiful sky from my seat. I felt like Texas was welcoming me and something big was coming. Luckily, I found a Japanese host family on Facebook and the wife was a realtor. She helped me to find a place to live. They supported me and welcomed me. I wonder what would happen if I didn't have their support. I can't thank them enough. My boyfriend also came to see me and helped me start my life here. He took me to the bank to open my bank account and places to get what I needed for my room. We've been doing long distance for more than three years, so of course, I'm always beyond happy to see him every time. But this time, I was thankful for him even more. I'm so lucky to have someone like him. It was the hardest audition process that I've ever experienced in my life. 
mentally and physically. But apart from that, I was so happy that I could be there with so many talented dancers, directors, and veterans. I told myself to believe in myself and enjoy the moment. When I saw congratulations on the screen, I couldn't believe it at first. It felt like a dream, but when we share hugs, I was so happy and thanked for every decision that I've made. All the good and bad led me to this place and I have no regret about my past. Throughout the season, I observed every single moment of the practice, appearances and game days getting my hair done professionally, team photo shooting, getting awarded by the team, experienced the world of dance was another dream come true moment, met Travis Wall and got to talk to him because of my director, got to dance on the field for the halftime show, Christmas weekly stages, practice with my teammates and make memories. I will never forget every single moment with my team. They are the ones who always keep pushing me further and the most hardworking people that I've ever met in my life. My favorite thing about DCRB is how unique and original we are. You can see it from our freestyle performances. Nobody does freestyle performances at the game. I love that we can see individuals' talents and styles at the games. It is so nerve-wracking, but once you hop into the center of the circle, you can experience the world that nobody can. I want to thank our director for making this team and letting me be part of this team this year. Without her, this didn't even exist. Also, I want to thank each one of my teammates for being my best friends, supporting me, and being there for each other. 2023, I still want to live my dream life for a little while. There's so many more things that I want to do and can do. I can't say for sure that I can be on the team next year as well, but I'm ready for the next chapter of my life. Having you guys on this journey has been incredible, and you guys are also the ones who make me keep going. I want to be someone who can inspire others, and I want to tell everyone who has a dream that they can do it. It doesn't matter if it's small or big. I also want to thank everyone around me. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here today. There's my favorite quote that my English teacher from junior high school gave me. If there is a will, there is a way. He wrote this on the back of my graduation album. You have to be the one who starts the action to search for the way to make your dream come true. If you are on the right track, the way will appear to you. But you have to keep going even if you fail. If you stop or give up, that's it. I still want to keep going and see how far I can go. I know 2023 will be full of excitement, joy, and love. If you have a dream, there's no time to wait. Make action. Don't be afraid. I'll see you guys in 2023.